I'm headed over to my mom's house for dropping Wyatt off to meet up with Kelly for some Grammy time with her tonight. And when I get back, I'm going to tell you seven ways that I've become a little bit more organized and I'm able to do this whole household management thing. So I'm gonna talk about like groceries, budgeting, like general household management stuff in this video. Shake my booty. Shake, shake, shake your booty. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh no, throw this around. We're going right now. It is going to play flow, guys. How can it? And I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna give you the seven tips in just a second. I just want to get like things done, and I will set up in front of the Christmas tree and make it festive. Right? Oh, you can see my phone. I was gonna call this video seven mom hacks, but this is not just for moms, this is also for dads and men and women that don't have children. To say mom hacks would be like that Michael Keaton movie, Mr. Mom. And he became the lady of the house. I like that movie, it's funny. But uh, the idea that a dad doesn't know how to take care of the house, that's just, this just doesn't happen nowadays, right? Tip one, shopping with children just sucks. Sorry. Find a way to make it convenient in whatever way you can. I've really relied on Amazon Fresh more than anything else. That has a lot of pros, a lot of pros. I mean, hands down, that is the most convenient way to get your groceries. But there's also the con of producing a lot of excess waste. Amazon Fresh, sadly, has a lot of waste building products that are involved with it. I emailed Amazon Fresh about this to ask if there was any way that we could reduce the amount of waste, and they said, feel free to return any of the plastic bags that we include in there. We reuse the bags to hand out food to the homeless or those that need it. I've said it in past videos that I love reducing my waste. I do it for the environment. A nice byproduct of it is that the kitchen is aesthetically pleasing, I'm healthier, I save money, but it's not as convenient as I'd like it to be. And there's ways to make it convenient, and I've talked about that in past in past videos that I'll link below. I don't know about you, but food is my number one variable expense on when it comes to my budget. And that is, hack number two is budgeting. Shane and I finally bit the bullet and took Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University for nerds and free spirits. To make your budgeting easier, I would suggest getting to know how to use Google spreadsheet formulas and ways to make them pretty. So what I did to learn how to do that was, or really to just customize it to my own needs, was to watch uh, YouTube videos of how others organized theirs. There are thousands of videos on how to organize your Google spreadsheet for FPU. Now my third tip is to become a she. And what I mean by that is it's an acronym. It's for Sidetracked Home Executives. And it was a book that my mother-in-law suggested that I look into. Yes, it was published in 1979, but I feel like it's even more relevant today. She uses a card system that helps you stay on top of daily chores and even tackle those seasonal upkeep items that I often forget. The system is flexible, allowing you to use it every day. You can be forgetful every once in a while and you can even delegate it to someone else. I've made my She system my own by using Trello rather than the box set of cards that they suggest. I found that Trello works the best, that's T-R-E-L-L. O.com. We've talked about it in past videos, and I'll include the link below. My fourth tip is on meal planning. What I found that has worked best for me and someone that does not like meal planning, doing it a month ahead really helps me in, as far as budgeting, being healthy, and just old being not as stressed out. In order to do that, I keep track of it in Trello in the same um, board that I keep my she system. My fifth piece of advice is to start using a journal. Keep any notes, to-do lists, ideas. My sixth point is in toxins. This just follows along with the same thought of reducing clutter, keeping things really simplified. I have three bottles in my household cleaner 
little area and each one is labeled. One is for floors, one is for glass, and one is for the bathroom and it's always ready to be used. Each one has very simple ingredients in it and I've tried all the different Pinterest recipes out there since we reduced our waste a few years ago and these are the ones that I've really liked. I'll include it in the description below. Going along with the cleaning theme, my last one, my point number seven, there are other countries in the world that do not have dishwashers. How do they wash their dishes effectively? And they might not even have running water. How do they do it? So I looked it up and there's multiple studies about this and what's effective and what's the most hygiene friendly, environmental friendly way to clean your dishes. There was one video that I felt explained it the very best because I went ahead and did his practice and how he does it. It's called, I think he talks about it as being a pure pyramid way of washing dishes. Creates a pyramid with his dishes and has this whole system around it. I'll include the video, you have to watch it. It's amazing because now I'm thinking, why do I have a dishwasher? There's seven ways to save time, energy, get a little bit more organized, feel happier, and I thought this might help around the holidays. I should say too, I'm 100% still a work in progress, but these things have helped me, and it always helps me when people talk about what they do. I mean, when I got, when I started working at the beginning of this year, and things felt very stressful to me with trying to manage kids in the house, and I'd ask other moms, how do you do this? And they kind of laugh and did the, you know, you just do it kind of a thing, but I was actually asking a real question. How do you manage a household and have a full-time job? So while I might not be perfect, hopefully this will start something where you can bring things up to your friend or ask questions and maybe someone else has better advice than I do. For me. Show mommy which one oh, you they're made. they're for you? It's for me. Which one did you make? I made mine. Which I one is yours? This one. Oh, yeah. So it's for me? Yeah. For me. Oh. Yay. Hope I hear you again. Be that guy. Show him. Yay. Yay. For you, Ryan. So which one, <laughs> which one did you make? This one. For you. Oh, thank you so much. And this one for daddy. Don't spill it. Don't touch it.